Guys, JL Folks here to talk about my Heritage H535. This is by far one of my favorite guitars. I've probably played 800 gigs with this thing, played in the studio a bunch of times with it, it's on a bunch of my tunes, and I've also done a bunch of guitar lessons with it. Uh, it's dubbed the name Ruby because of its cherry translucent finish. Uh, basically, it kind of resembles a Gibson uh, 335. But it's a little bit different. It's a little bit thinner than a 335, and it also uses uh, Seymour Duncan pickups. It's got a wood block that runs through the middle, which kind of prevents feedback and uh, gives you a really round tone. And I like the 535 over a Gibson 335, which I also have more because it just really cuts through and makes really well. It's a little bit brighter. But this one was custom made for me. Um, the headstock is bound binded and um, the heritage logo is a pearl inlay it's also got grover tuners and basically what i'm going to do is show you guys some different tonal options you can get out of this guitar i'm going to play clean i'm going to play distorted with a backing track as well to kind of show you um, how it cuts through a mix but if you don't know the history of heritage guitars uh, go and check it out online basically it was started by some of the original gibson builders at gibson guitar they started to want to build their own guitars, so they started a, a new company called Heritage. And Gibson basically gave them the rights to build their own guitars. And they still build guitars out of the original Gibson factory today. So that's where this one came from. I've had it about three or four years now. It's an awesome guitar. So if you're in the market for a new guitar and you see a Heritage, be sure to check them out. And I would definitely urge you to purchase one. They're a great investment. But anyways... Here's some different tonal options you can get out of this guitar. Alright guys, so basically I'm running this through a AC30 plug-in with a Tube Screamer and a reverb pedal. So this is a little bit crunchy, but this is what the 59 Humbucker by Seymour Duncan sounds like. <laughs> This is what the bridge pickup sounds like. This is a uh, Seth Lover. And I made a little backing track. That's a blues backing track to kind of give you guys a, uh, a feel of what it sounds like with the band.
So this is some live footage from one of the concerts I recorded in Westminster, South Carolina. This is at Red Arrow Studio. But I wanted to show you guys pretty much what this guitar sounds like live and mixed live. Um, I'm running a deluxe reverb amplifier and a Mojo Hand Speakeasy uh, pedal. So basically this is pretty clean with a little bit of a boost, but this is what the guitar sounds like live. I wanted to show you guys some other tones I get out of this great Andy James plug-in. These are more metal style tones, but here's some good riff tones as well as some clean tones. I hope you dug the video. If you're interested in the Heritage Guitar, visit www.heritageguitars.com. And uh, if you guys want to see more demos and guitar videos like this, let me know in the comments. I got tons of footage of me playing this guitar, so if you still want to find out what this guitar sounds like, check out some of my other videos. I even got a uh, music video I did inside the original Gibson factory, which is now the Heritage Guitar Factory. Uh, the song's called The Way She Makes Me Feel, and I actually wrote it about this guitar. So be sure to check that out on my channel. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. She's always there. She's never going to leave.